I've taken a lot of first steps in my life. I'll tell you one thing, um, I suck in sports. So you, you remember that guy who was picked last every single time in high school when you had to make two teams? Or you don't want to remember that part of your life, maybe? <laughs> that was me. And that's probably the most important part of my story. I suck in sports but I succeeded in sports. And there are two very different things that can coexist. You know, so how does that guy want, who sucks in sports, one day wakes up on the top of Mount Everest? You have to take a first step. You have to change the story you tell yourself, right? And the story, that common narrative in a business, in an organization, that is the culture. And our culture, that culture of innovation, of disruption, of being creative. And this is what we will ask from you all weekend long, to take first steps. And that first step is so powerful. My dream was to climb Mount Everest. It's a two months climb. You're away from home for three months. You take one step above base camp, you're two months away from the top. No guarantees you will summit. You take one step above base camp, I was climbing Mount Everest. I get goosebumps talking about it. It's gonna be 10 years this year. So that first step is so key. You have to start sometimes and accept you don't have all the answers. When I started the run across Canada, we're talking about a marathon a day for nine months. When I finished the run, I had pain in my legs for six more months. And when I started, I was so scared. I was so scared. And by the way, that is someone who had reached the summit of Mount Everest. When I started the run, I had no clue if I was gonna be adequate. And you know what I thought? I thought the cost of not trying is going to be greater than the cost of failing. This was not about what I was about to do. It didn't matter. I did 150 interviews when I ran across Canada. I never talked about running. It was about the why. It was, uh, it was about the message. It was about the impact. So again, I suck in sports. And when you don't get the car you would have liked to get, you focus on one thing. You focus on impact, on purpose and you always serve the mission first. That's what you do.